Hi, I'm Lari, and welcome to your push and core tricep workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. Grab whatever dumbbells you have available. I have five, tens, and twenties. You and I are different though, so grab something that is challenging but doable for you. We will also need a mat, something for hydration, and we will also need a chair or a bench. All right, today we have tri-set. So we have three exercises at a time. We will perform each block or every three exercises for three rounds. The first round will be for one minute. We will then get a 15 second break. The second round, 45 seconds, 15 second break. And that third round will be 30 seconds of each exercise, 15 second break. So we start with the longest duration, get a small break, we shorten it, small break, we shorten it even more, small break, and then we move on to some new exercises. Now this is very metabolic, all right? So there's not a lot of rest time. I'm being pretty conservative with my weight selection. My energy's also kind of low today from lack of sleep, kids, sickness, all that stuff. So honor your body, find a weight selection that is challenging for you. Also, every exercise is time, so we do not have to go at the same pace. You can go slower. I really want you to feel that mind-muscle connection with every single exercise. So the first round, I'll be giving you a few cues here and there, but by the second and third round, we're just gonna vibe to the music. I'm not gonna give you tons of cues that second and third round, because we already, we've, we've done it. So second round, we're gonna get better. Third round, we're gonna match each exercise. So of course I have the workout listed below in the description. You will also see up here every exercise we're gonna do. We will have that exercise, the focus, and then some tips below as well. With about 15 seconds to go, you're gonna see the upcoming exercise demo up here. Once you hear that ding, we've moved on. So this is designed to fatigue your muscles. We're trying to get those muscles stronger and stronger. So you may find that during the workout, you're, you need to take a break and that is okay. Take a few deep breaths. So say we're doing lateral raises. You're, I can't get it up anymore with good technical form. Take a few deep breaths right here and then continue to rep it out and just continue that pattern until the time is up. All right, y'all, this workout runs 45 minutes. We start, we have some push exercises. We combine dumbbell exercises with body weight only exercises. And then we end with a nice little ab circuit. Y'all, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be fun. Grab all your stuff and let's get to work. All right, y'all, if you have a watch, I know you like to know the calorie burn and all that stuff. It's not about how many calories we burn though. This is more about strengthening and getting stronger. So let's focus on that. Our first tricep will be our warm up. So I'm gonna grab a little lighter weights. I'm gonna use fives for all three exercises. We begin with Lou raises. So supinated grip, we take it all the way up. You may also know these as around the worlds and then control it down. One minute of that, and then we go right into some more medial and anterior delt exercises. We begin with Lou raises in three, two, and one. Let's go. Lou raises. Supinated grip all the way up, and then control it down. So we're just getting nice and warm here. As we bring the dumbbells up, make sure those shoulders stay down and don't shrug them up towards the ears. I'm sure you're not doing that. You give me motivation, make my life vacation. When we are together, I surrender. Take it to a neutral grip, lateral raise, and we bring it forward. So bring it out, together, out, down. And then just smooth it out. So it's almost like a semicircle. And when you bring it out, instead of bringing it to that three o'clock position, bring it somewhere in between that three and two. So instead of here, keep it slightly in front of the body. And that's gonna hit the medial delts a little bit better. It's burning. Don't treat me like a stranger You give me motivation Make my life vacation When we are together I surrender Give you all my money Make you look so lovely Never feeling lonely Baby girl, you're so fine I can't get you off my mind Ooh girl, nah, nah Ooh girl, nah, nah Baby 
lateral raise partial. So we're just repping it out. Let's go. Keep the arms straight. Think about driving the dumbbells out and then up. And this is going to burn. So if you need to take a little breather, take it. To get to you, to get to you, ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind. On my Last three, two, and one. We get 15 seconds to recover. Grab a drink, do what you want. And if you found that that was too light, up the weight next time. If you found that it was too heavy, lower it. All right, this is your workout. You get to make that call. All right, round two, Lou raises. Let's go. Now we're only doing 45 seconds of each exercise. Keep that same good quality form throughout. Right, lateral raise and bring it in front. To get to you, ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. For you, my love. You drive me crazy, tell me what to do, what to do. I'm on my knees, yeah, I get back in you, back in you. I'll break the rules if it will get me to, get me to, yeah. Lateral raise partials, keep the arms pretty straight, and then we're just repping it out, out and then up. Last three, two, and wow. Okay, we get a 15 second break, then we do that one final time, then we're on to a new block. So this time may feel the most challenging, but it's only 30 seconds. Grab those weights. Here we go, final round in three, two, and one. Lateral raise and we bring it in front. Let's go. Lateral raise partials, this is it, let's go.
three, two, and one. Wow, okay. <laughs> new block, all right. So we're gonna start with some neutral grip shoulder presses right here. We bring it up, control it down, then we'll ditch the weights for two body weight exercises. All right, I'm gonna grab 20s for these. Let's go. Make sure you control the weight. The weight doesn't control you. So core stays nice and tight. Last three, two inchworms with push-ups. All right, set those weights down. We walk it out. So we're walking it out with our hands to a high plank. From here, we have one push-up on or off the knees, and then we walk it back in. Keep those elbows pointed back at about 45 degrees. So instead of that 90 degree angle, have it back. It's gonna feel better on your shoulders. We have plank shoulder taps, let's go. So wide stance here, then we're just tapping the shoulders, left and then right, if needed, come to the knees. So we're working on anti-rotation of the hips, core stays tight, and also burning out those shoulders. Last three, two, and recover. Nice work. All right, round two, 45 seconds of each. We know exactly what to do. Change your weight selection if needed. I was struggling on that last rep. All right, neutral grip shoulder presses. We go in three, two, and one. One more rep. Three, two, inchworm with push ups. Set those weights down. We immediately go into it. You get everybody staring for days. All the seas just a young, pretty face. But I'm trying to get to know you much better. Don't matter how much time it will take. But there's something you're trying to hide. There's something you're keeping inside.
plank shoulder taps in three, two, and one. And one, wow. All right, final round, 30 seconds of each. Wow, okay, then it's on to a new block. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna hit some 20s. Final round in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. And twirl with push ups. Shoulder taps. Let's go, 30 seconds, that's it. My heart is beating to your drum And I'm blinded by the sunshine in your eyes Not thinking twice, am I this dumb? Although I know you're all I want How could I crave something so bad? Last three two and one wow okay our next block we actually get to lay down if you have a bench feel free to grab your bench so you can have an increased range of motion we have chest presses tricep extensions and then chest flies i'm using 20s for the chest press so have the elbows at about 45 degrees bring it up three two one on the way down can't help myself In 10 seconds, we are going to decrease the weight. I'm gonna drop mine to 10s, and we have chest flies. Last three, two, and one. Grab something a little bit lighter. Palms go together. We bring it out, and then bring it in. So like we're going around a beach ball, keep the elbows slightly bent, but don't bend them anymore. So we start with a soft elbow, we bring it out, feel a big stretch along the front of the delt as well as the chest, and then drive it back in. Can't help myself. You know too well I need you close. Can't help myself. Try to start the fight under your spell. Can't help Up, we have tricep extension, so we'll keep the dumbbells straight overhead. Now we hinge from the elbows. Be careful, take those dumbbells directly to the outside of the head and then bring it up. So we take it down three, two, one. We should feel a, a stretch in the tricep, 
before breaking it up on that considered plate. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. All right. Now we have round two, which is 45 seconds. Make any adjustment to your weight selection that you need. So two, if you couldn't get another rep, decrease the weight. If you didn't feel like it was challenging enough, let's bring it up. Chest presses, let's go. Next up, chest flies in three, two, and one. Next up, triceps in three, two, and one. one nice work final round 30 seconds of each exercise before we move on to our fourth block final round in three two and one And one, switch it out. Chest flies, final round. Triceps in three, two, and one. All along, I feel like you need your space. 
last three, two, and one. We are halfway through. We are onto our fourth block, and now it is back to some shoulders. So I'm gonna drop it down back to fives for all three exercises, and then I'll make that call if I can increase it or not. We have a dumbbell six way first, so six ways. We bring it out, together, up, down, out, and lower. So six stops. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We have a, a front raise to a bus driver. All right, let's go. So we bring it up neutral grip and then we take it right and then left and then we control it down. Lateral raises one to a quarter rep. All right, so this is super challenging. Bring it up, quarter rep at the top, bring it down. So when the exercise is the most challenging, which is right here, we're adding a little pulse before controlling it down. Now, if needed, you can just take it straight up, straight down. Last rep and recover. Wow. Okay. Round two, 45 seconds. Make any adjustments to your weight selection that you need. You can increase the weight, but I know by the end of this, man, our shoulders are feeling it. All right. Dumbbell six ways. Let's go. Front raise with bus drivers. Let's go.
lateral raise. Let's add that quarter up at the top. And one, wow. Okay, 15 second rest, final round, 30 seconds. Ooh, I could go lighter here, but I don't have any uh, anything lighter besides body weight. So rest if needed, and then continue that rep count. What I mean by that, just take a few deep breaths and then continue when you can. Front raise with that bus driver. Let's do it. And lateral raise, let's do it, come on. This is our final exercise with dumbbells. From here on out, it's gonna be body weight only. Three, two, and one, wow, wow, wow. Okay, next up we got a little triceps. Tricep bench dips, then we have pike push-ups, targeting the shoulders, and then we have a high to low plank core. It's really total body, but shoulders as well. All right, bring it to your bench or your chair, bring it out, and then push it up. So we should feel a stretch along the triceps. Now, if you wanna make this more challenging, you could set a dumbbell in your lap you could also elevate your feet onto something as well. You may also wanna make sure your chair is up against a wall so it doesn't slide back on you. Now we should be just going straight up, straight down but that could happen, so fair warning. Next up, we have pike push-ups. So we're gonna come to almost like a, the top of a downward facing dog, and then we'll take it to our push-up. Wow, okay. So butt does go up in the air. This is gonna target your shoulders. So just like we're doing a down dog, now we hinge at the elbow, so the elbows go back, and then we press it up, get a stretch. So bring it down, elbows point back, 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 hover that head, and then bring it down. Now your option or modification would be to decrease the range of motion before pressing it up. So just think of this as a, an inverted body weight shoulder press. Idle of planks in three, two, and one. Okay, this is one of the most challenging plank exercises I find. So starting that high plank position, core stays tight. Now we're working on anti-rotation of the hips as we go right forearm, left forearm, 
right hand, left hand, reset, and then we take it to the other side. Left, right, left, right. Your modification or option would be to continue, same thing, but on the knees. So try to keep those hips as level as possible. So if you were to have a glass of water, let's make it wine, let's make it fun. Wine on your back, don't spill that wine. It's good stuff. two, and one. All right, nice work. All right, round two, 45 seconds of each. Triceps, inverted shoulder presses, pike push-ups, and then that high to low plank. Okay, if you wanna make this more challenging, put a dumbbell in your lap or elevate the feet. Push-ups in three, two, and one. Wow, get into position. Butt goes up in the air, and that is on purpose. All right, so a little down dog. Now hover that head, you are strong. Press it away. High to low planks in three, two, and one. I was maxing out right there anyway. All right, here we go. Just switch sides every rep. Last three, two, and one. All right, final round. 30 seconds of each, y'all. And then we're on the mat and we have abs to finish out. So this is going to be the final tri-set, final 90 seconds, targeting the upper body. Let's do it. One more rep. Pike push-ups, let's get to it. A little plank in three, two, and one. Let's go. Last 
two, and one. All right, y'all, we are done with these dumbbells. Now, it's gonna be all about the abs, oblique. So we're gonna target transverse abdominals, rectus, internal, external obliques. We're gonna start with bicycles with a hold. So we go one, two, hold for two. All right, so shoulder blades are off the ground. Go three, two, hold for two. Three, two, hold for two. So don't just touch elbow to knee. Twist from the thoracic spine. Doesn't matter if you touch. progress off of this bicycle. So on that hold, we're gonna add a leg lift. So we hold, leg lift for two. Three, two, hold, leg lift for two. Three, two, hold, leg lift for two. Control it, your modification or option would be to just hinge at that knee and bring it in like so. Hip lift, let's go. When you lift those hips, initiate from the lower abdominals. Control it, hover those heels right here. Now if needed, of course, you can hinge the knees. and recover 15 seconds. Then we get a 45 seconds of each, y'all. We're almost done. We got less than five minutes. We got this. Bicycles, hold every third rep. So twist and hold. We add that leg lift in three, two, two leg lifts.
hip lifts in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Wow, recover, 15 seconds. Final, final, final round, 30 seconds of each. To make this 45 minutes, we will be adding 15 seconds of flutter kicks at the very end. Here we go, bicycles, two count hold. Let's do it. Add the leg lifts in three, two, and one. Go to hip lifts in three, two, and one. The last rep, then we hold at the bottom. Flutter kick those feet in three, two, and one. 15 seconds. I know it's burning. Stay with me. It burns. Here we go. Final three, two, and one. We are done. <laughs> nice work. All right, let's just shimmy on over very slowly to our bellies. Let's stretch out those abs. Wow. All right, we're on our forearms. We're gonna ease into this, so just heart lifts forward. Wow, big deep inhale as we exhale, bring it down. Now let's intensify the stretch by just lengthening the arms, press through the tops of the feet. Release right hip down, look over left shoulder. And let's take it to the other side. Left hip down, look over right shoulder. Inhale back to center. As we exhale, bring it to a tabletop position. We're gonna just do some mobility work because we hit that upper body pretty hard. Left hand goes towards the center. Inhale, right hand up. As we exhale, thread it underneath. Now let's do that again. Inhale, try to stack the arms. So right arm, right hand stacks over left and then thread it through. Let's do that three more times. Last one. And let's bring it back to that tabletop position. Other side, so right hand comes towards the center. Inhale, left arm up. Oh, you may find that one side's a little tighter than the other. That's okay, that's why we're gonna work on it. Inhale, open up, try to stack. Exhale, thread it through. Let's do that three more times at your own pace. And last round. Ooh. 
Let's bring it back to that tabletop position. Keep the hips stacked over the knees. Walk the hands out when you can walk the hands out no more. Let that chest melt. Puppy pose. And let's give the triceps, uh, let's give the triceps a little bit more TLC. So bring the hands into a prayer position. Just bring the palms of the hands together and then bring the palms of the hands behind the neck. You can then inch out the elbows and just get a, a deeper stretch in the triceps. To intensify this, you could also bring your hands to a bench. Make sure your bench or your chair is up against a wall so it doesn't slide back on you. Just another option. We'll be here for 10 more seconds. And release the hands forward, frame the face, press it off. Now we're gonna come all the way back down to the belly and we're going to go into a very deep shoulder and chest opener. So go into this very slowly. So right hand goes out to the center, or sorry, out to the side, directly out to the side. And very, very slowly, just release your head on the mat. Roll towards that right arm, all right? And then make that left foot into a kickstand behind the right. And then go into this slowly until you feel a nice stretch along the right shoulder and the right chest, right uh, anterior delt and into that right chest. Once you feel a stretch, it should not hurt. It should just feel like a stretch, then just hold. Always ease into your stretches. We'll be here for 10 more seconds. One more deep inhale as we exhale very slowly, come out of it. And we're gonna go into that other side. So left hand comes out to the side, big deep inhale. As we exhale, very slowly roll towards that left arm. Turn that right foot into a kickstand and then just find your edge. Once you find your edge, just hang out there. We're here for about 10 more seconds. One more big deep inhale. As we exhale, roll back onto your stomach, frame the chest with the hands. Inhale into that upward facing dog. And exhale, meet me in a nice easy seat, whatever that looks like for you. They all look different. <laughs> and let's just get a nice little chest and shoulder opener before we leave today. Inhale up, as we exhale, open. Let's do that twice more. Inhale up, exhale open. Last time, inhale up and exhale open. Y'all, nice work today. That was challenging, all right? So we repeat rounds in order to fatigue the muscles more. So we're trying to fatigue those muscles. We're trying to make them even stronger. As long as you tried your best, y'all, that's all that matters. I hope you enjoyed this workout. You did amazing. Like, comment, subscribe. Your support and love means everything to me. I appreciate it so, so much. Be sure to follow me on IG. Tag me in your posts and stories at Laurie Midkiff. I made a Facebook page and a group page, Fit by Laurie. So find that and join the group and page as well. And y'all, you're so amazing. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Keep up the great work. You rock.